do the Mario. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Welcome back to Super Mario Land 2, ladies and gentlemen. In the last part, I ended off where we were about to go to the final world, but I decided that I wanted to get 999 coins, and as you can see, I did do that in between sessions, so now we're heading here. But anyway, let's see what kind of rewards this 999 slot machine has. Oh, I see a 90 life sitting there. What do we get? Okay, we got 500 coins. That's, uh, that's kind of unfortunate, but I guess we could do the 200 one a couple times now. And at least get some lives. Man, I just have the worst luck when it comes to Mario bonus games, don't I? Alright, well enough of that. Now let's go ahead uh, to the- I say world, but it's just a single level. It is, uh, Mario, or now Wario's Castle. Doors open thanks to us obtaining all six golden coins, so let's go ahead and head in. This is a very long level with lots of traps. It does give you some power-ups unlike some of the other final levels in Mario games. The bunny ears, of course, do help you out quite a bit. Oh dear. Where's the floor? There's the floor, okay. I can't remember if there's any kind of checkpoint in this level at all. If not, then we're in one for... If not, then we're in for one wild ride. I don't know why I had an issue saying that. They're throwing a lot of platforming tricks at us. I mean, and I guess because... Uh, there's no way I'm getting past that. I think it was because I touched this tile, but now I'm just screwed. Yeah. Oh, I did it again! It's ability frames. There we go, we learned the pattern eventually. Took some doing though. But it seems like, you know, there's all these hard gimmicks in this level because previously you could do any level in any order you wanted practically. So now, oh, I just died. Now they're like, okay, you've done everything in the game up to this point. You should be good enough to do this. Also, yeah, it looks like we're, uh, we're back to the beginning of the level, so... No more bunny ears, that's unfortunate. Okay, here we are. Jump. Good. Jump. And jump. There we go, okay. That is kind of trial and error -y. like, obviously, when you first get there, you're not gonna expect to suddenly have to jump over the second normal-looking tile. Oh my! Okay, so apparently that room you just wanna run through. Here we have this kind of mini-boss here. Where we gotta jump on this ball, bouncing about several times. Or twice, I guess. Kind of interesting. Now we have two of them! And we immediately throw off the little pattern they had going there. Which you kind of want to do, because otherwise they're a bit challenging. Oh man, there goes one of my power-ups. All the, uh, the enemies and the designs in this kind of give us an idea... Oh man, there's more of them. It gives us an idea as to what Wario looks like. Because keep in mind, this is the introduction of the characters, so not everybody playing this knew exactly what Wario looked like, or knew that he was even the main antagonist until they went up to Mario's castle. Into this pipe we go. And there's Wario himself, he's this giant, evil-looking Mario. It was nice of them to give us... I was gonna say, it was nice of them to give us a fire flower before the fight started, and then we immediately lost it. And we're down to small Mario already. Hey, we got a hidden on him, though. Oh, man. Uh, that did not go well. Do we have to redo the level? I really hope we don't have to redo the whole level. Wow, so I underestimated how challenging this whole bit is. We have to redo this level every single time we lose to Wario. And I remember the fight with Wario. He's got multiple phases. It's unfortunate that this whole level they don't give us the bunny ears. I mean, that would really help in the boss fight. It has before. Ah, he just immediately stuns as soon as the fight starts. Ah! Oh! Oh, we can sit on his chair. This is my throne. Oh, man. This is not going well already. Okay. Are you done? Okay, so that is the first phase. There's more to this. Oh! <gasps> Get a power up. Okay, that's so generous. And it's a carrot, too. What is with that Mario statue there? Anyway, the neat thing about this boss fight is that he also gets the carrot. Now he's trying to fly down onto us. Like he's Mario. Oh, he got stuck on the statue before. That's what happened. Mario, why do we have a statue of yourself doing that weird pose? There we go. Got him again. Okay, that's the end of that phase. But we're not done just yet. Oh, just a mushroom? I already have a mushroom. Why couldn't you give me a flower or a carrot? Because in this phase, he gets a fire flower. So 
So now he's shooting fire at us. Oh, we're down to small Mario. Oh wow, that was the easiest phase of all. Anyway, we got Wario, we're done. So there he is, he's just sad and... Threw his shoe at us? Anyway, with that, Mario has defeated Wario. And using some strange magic spell thing that I don't quite understand, we remake this castle to look nice and have a Mario cap at the door. I don't think I ever remembered that. There you go, now it's Mario's castle. The end, or just end. Thank you, Mario. Your quest is over. Who's thanking us? All we did was reclaim our own property. So now we get the credits. That is the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is a nice, charming credits theme. I like it quite a bit. It's reminiscent of the standard theme throughout this game, but it gives definitely a new spin on it, and I like that. But thank you guys so much for joining me for this Let's Play. I had a great time making it. Thanks to Mimi for being here for the first few parts, and just generally being a great cat. Do feel free to try this one out. This is a fun little game on the Game Boy. I do recommend playing it on, like, the 3S Virtual Console or some em emulator. Uh, just because the original Game Boy version has a, like, save that can break, so you don't want that. But this game has a lot to go back to. A lot of the unique set pieces, a lot of the cool enemies, and a lot of the great music. The control scheme is actually great and fits perfectly with the Game Boy. I think this is a great title, so make sure to check it out if you want. Presented by Nintendo. <laughs> I like Wario giving us the thumbs up there. Thanks, Wario. Maybe don't take our castle next time, though. <laughs> <laughs>